The New York African Film Festival celebrated its 21st edition this year, marking the centenary of Nigeria's unification. An Hollywood dark comedy, Confusion Nawa, by Kenneth Jiang, was on opening night. However, the highlight of the festival was focused on the centerpiece film, Half of a Yellow Sun, which was hosted by the Film Society of the Lincoln Center at the Walter Reed Theater. The New York African Film Festival kicked off on May 7th to May 13th, and the centerpiece film is none other than Half of a Yellow Sun by Nigerian filmmaker B. Bandele. The film is actually one of those that has caused waves around the country, around the world, and also has actually been banned in Nigeria. After walking the red carpet, director B. Bandele, accompanied by Anika Noni Rose and Osi Okeji, some of the cast members present, spoke to Sahara TV. He expressed dismay about the refusal for certification of the film by the Nigerian Censorship Board. When I saw the email last week um, from Lagos, uh, from one of the producers in Lagos, telling me that uh, the censorship board had decided um, to uh, delay certification, I wasn't quite sure what that meant. Um, and then I realized actually it meant that we were being banned through the back door. They're not using the word ban, but if you refuse to uh, issue a rating certificate for a film, effectively you're banning it because that film cannot be exhibited anywhere, cannot be shown in any cinemas. Andre Calderwood, producer of the film, spoke of the film's successes around the world and its wonderful cast. It's a wonderful experience. I'm very proud of the film. It's one of the most challenging films I've ever produced. But the, I think the result of it is, is fantastic. And so far we've showed it at film festivals all over the world and we've had standing ovations everywhere we go, so it's been a great success. Well, we had exactly the cast that we hoped for. Chiritel Ejifar had been involved in the whole process of the film. B had, um, is an old friend of Chiritel's and always wanted him to play Odenibo. Um, Tandy Newton, we were delighted when she chose to play Alana. Uh, B had spoken to her playing either Kenini or Alana and she felt Alana was the part for her. And Aniki Noni, Anika Noni Rose is just fantastic as Kenini. And um, the film is really a love story about these two very bold twin sisters and to have two such strong personalities as Tandy and Anika is just perfect. The director and founder of the New York African Film Festival talked about the history and its plans. We do produce year-round programming locally, nationally and internationally but this is our big celebration and this is our 21st anniversary of the New York African Film Festival. Under the banner revolution and liberation in the digital age, we're celebrating several milestones, including the centennial of Nigeria, um, uh, the 20th anniversary of South Africa, uh, I think Malawi, I, I don't want to miss, I, I'm, there's so much information in my head, but I know there are two countries celebrating their 50th anniversary, and I know it is on the tip of my tongue, but there's so much information right okay. now. And also, uh, Nollywood, uh, it's a homage to Nollywood, in this 21st year and we have we're also premiering uh, confusion Awa and half of a yellow sun there was a screening of the film followed by a Q&A very 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 much my uh, my crew I had a great crew but when we shot the scenes of violence they were quite often really frustrated with me because they they wanted they wanted like blood everywhere, and I would say, well, this is not a Tarantino movie. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not actually saying anything against Tarantino, but you know, it's not a cartoon. Um, and I wanted to leave. I, the, the, the scene at the airport, I, I wanted, the, the, there was, for me, it was a transitional scene between the first part of the movie, which is like a kind of 50s American rom-com, um, and, and then the second half where you, you know, and I wanted to wake the audience up, but there's nothing gratuitous about the violence in it. After this, the invited guests were treated to a gala where food and drink was served, accompanied by music. The guests even won a raffle by Brussels Airways of two tickets to a destination of her choice where the airline services. I am Fungai Maborek, Sahara TV.